So, uh, hello everybody. It's me. Like again, uh, this time I'm uh, back with a bit of a video on how to install drivers on your Debian uh, workstation or Debian system if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to do this is um, that I myself have been trying to get um, the NVIDIA drivers to be installed as you can see right here. Uh, I got them installed. Uh, I am running Debian uh, to show them I'm lying. I'm going to install NeoFetch and uh, I'm going to uh, not to waste your time with this. I'm just going to install it real quick and show you that I am really running Debian so that I can prove to all of you that I'm not lying. So NeoFetch see we're running Debian on my computer right now uh, it's, a, it's the exact same computer I've been using in my videos prior I've just moved to Debian because Arch Linux was uh, let's say not as stable as I wanted it to be and it caused a lot of problems that doesn't matter the thing we're after is that we want to install our drivers so I did install them so I'm gonna show you what the process looked like uh, in the most accurate way as I can what you need to do to prepare everything and uh, bear in mind it's gonna take a little bit of time so yeah let me launch a web browser in the background for now uh, and let me open this link up there we go so back here alrighty then so uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna uh, use the root thing. You need to be root in order to do anything here. Once you're root, I recommend that you use this command uh, like pass wd. Um, what this will do, it will ask you to enter a password. As you can see, it's asking for a new password. I'm not gonna set it up. Um, let me reopen it. But yeah, it's gonna ask you to type in a new password and everything. So that's that. Um, again, I recommend that you're sudo so that we can use all the commands properly. Once you have set up your password, you can just use the sudo password uh, in a different way. You can either use this command or you can use um, or you can use uh, the su command. So either su or sudo dash i, it doesn't matter, you can use both. Um, so uh, use root account, there we go, we use root account. So what you want to do is you want to either use su or sudo dash i. So we're going to use su. It's going to ask you for the password that you've set up previously. So you want to type that in. As you can see right now sudo. As you can see root at domain of your computer or host name and the location you're currently in. Next thing you want to do is you want to install NVIDIA Detect. I already installed it so it doesn't matter if I reinstall it or not. It's already the newest version. And what you want to do, you want to run NVIDIA Detect. Once you run that, you will see that uh, here it will list a version that you need to use. If it doesn't, and it lists that you that it's supported by all drivers or for all driver versions, you can use this, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you want to get uh, proprietary drivers, you need to visit NVIDIA's website. Uh, well, to do that, uh, you need to visit this link right here. But before we do that, uh, we need to first install some packages in order to build the Linux kernel again and uh, rebuild it so that we can use the driver properly. And uh, then we will use that to blacklist uh, the driver. So what we need to do is we need to install uh, these packages, everything will be in the description below. So don't worry, I've got already in, I've already installed those. 
and uh, next you need to run this. This will uh, rebuild uh, the Linux kernel so that it can use the NVIDIA drivers. It will like, as you can see, it's gonna. Yeah, I already did that before, so you can use it even for upgrading if you need it, but I do not need to do that, I already did that. Um, the size can change depending on uh, what, what version you're running, so remember that. Next we need to download the driver. Now it said previously that my driver was supported by all versions. You need to look up here, it will say here the version you need to install, so bear that in mind. Um, since we're using Linux, we'll be looking at uh, at this one, the AMD64, not the 32-bit ones, but the 64-bit ones, because I have a uh, AMD64 CPU or a 64-bit one. So we need to pick the first one, obviously, since it said all versions of the driver, it doesn't matter which one we pick. I recommend you pick the long-lived branch version which is 430.40 so you click that and it's gonna download a package um, in your downloads folder it's gonna download the uh, NVIDIA Linux x64 underscore uh, x86 underscore 64 dash 430.40.run uh, it's basically a file or a script rather that you will be using to install the driver. Once you've installed all of that, I highly recommend you disable the no build driver or the open source driver. Again, I'm telling you to log in as the root if you didn't before. So you can either use this or use SU, it depends on what you want to use. And um, uh, since we are root and we didn't exit it, it doesn't actually need to be here. And uh, what you want to do is you want to blacklist the driver by doing this command. It's going to blacklist the Novo driver. And you want to use this to rebuild the entire kernel. This thing gets all the build tools. So this one gets all the build tools and this one is rebuilding the kernel itself. Uh, I'm not going to launch it. I already did it before. Just don't be scared, it's gonna take a little time. Uh, next, we're going to have to disable our display manager. Uh, to do that, we are going to find out which display manager we're using. So if we type this in, it's going to list our display manager. Now, bear in mind, for each system, this is different. I have two examples here. Uh, for example, as you can see, I am using LightDM as my display manager. So to disable it, you would do sudo system uh, ctl stop light dm. If you're using gdm3 or yeah, gdm3, you need to change it to gdm3. I'm not gonna run it. Um, just doesn't matter. Uh, I already did that, so I won't. I won't do it because uh, the recording would stop. Uh, if you see a blank screen, just press Ctrl Alt F1, and you should be asked to log in. So once you log in, uh, you need to run sudo systemctl set default multi-user.target. What this will do is it will change, uh, it will prevent from the novel driver to be initiated and it will just push you into the command prompt at the start. So um, basically it will give you this sort of a look. It will just show the terminal. You won't see any of the graphical user interface. Uh, just don't be scared. Uh, I recommend that you save this as a text file as I have and just reference it if you are lost. You can either use nano to look at the text file from inside. Um, from, let me show you. You can either use uh, nano to reference the uh, text file as so, as such, or you can use cat. Um, like so. Whoops. We don't, don't want to use the double ones. Or you can use cat like so. Well, uh, what cat does, it's going to uh, push it out into the terminal window so you don't have to worry. So you can use cat like this or use nano to open the text file itself if you're lost. Um, 
So next you want to do sudo system set deformities as I said before and then you reboot. Once you reboot you will be in the terminal uh, because it, it, this will disable the graphical user interface so you won't be able to use it. Uh, what it will enable however is the terminal and it will prevent the uh, Novell driver to be used. Um, the main reason is that it does this is if you remember we have blacklisted it by using this command. Blacklist Novell and this one. This will completely disable the driver or the open source driver that's in that. So if you want to use the proprietary we don't need that to be enabled obviously. So what's next? Well obviously we need to go into our downloads folder. To do that use cd downloads list out the files and you should have downloaded the NVIDIA Linux driver already so I would recommend that you wait until the file is downloaded and then you run it where you run it is really simple <coughs> sudo bash and then type nvidia and press tab to auto complete it it should have the dot run extension you then hit enter and it's gonna uh, ask you if you want to enable it's gonna take a little while to load a way you can tell if it did apply correctly is that the text should be like really large so that's when you know that everything is okay so that the driver isn't being utilized at all. So you're basically using software rendering, if that makes sense. Um, actually, you're not using software rendering, are you? You're not using even the driver, so it must be software rendering. Anyhow, you will just run the command and it will ask you if you want to enable 32-bit support. You have to select yes. Um, next, it will, next it will ask you if you want to overwrite the files. Obviously you want that, so you need to select install and overwrite existing file sort installation. What this will do, this will overwrite every single driver file that was there to use the proprietary driver. Uh, next it will ask you if you want to generate the XOR configuration. Um, we want to accept that. If you don't accept that, you need to run uh, nvidia-xconfig. This will generate the exorc configuration file that we need in order to use um, the desktop environment and the desktop itself. Uh, with that, we need to re-enable the graphical user interface. To do that, we do sudo systemctl set default graphical target. What this will do is we enable the graphical user interface, basically what you see here, and then you'll just type in sudo reboot to reboot. So I'll just put it here so I don't forget it. So you just type in sudo reboot and it will reboot the entire system, and you should be greeted with your login manager. And a way you can check if it was installed properly is if you go and look for, um, it should be somewhere. Uh, it will be under settings most likely. You will see NVIDIA X server settings that wasn't there before. And as you can see, I did all the steps, and this is the driver I've installed for 30.40, which is the proprietary driver. To show you that I'm not lying, you can see over here I have full control over it. You can see graphics information, GLX, everything. Um, these things, open GL settings. I recommend that you tweak those to get the most performance out of it possible, so like like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do to get the most performance out of it. Out of it to use your graphics card mainly, so I'm a bit tired to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if anyone has any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. So in the so in the meantime, make sure to stay safe, have fun, and keep on digging. Make sure to learn the most you can about Linux, because Linux is the future. And if you're not willing to learn Linux, I'm really sorry. You're gonna be left behind.